So it's been a few months since our extremely popular buy or pass, so it's only right that I bring you guys the latest up-to-date buy or pass market update. So it's only right that we start off with the date just range, the date just 41. I've got a few to show you here. So if it's the smooth bezel model with the Oyster or Jubilee bracelet, I'll show you the Oyster one here. I've got the beautiful light blue Azura Roman numeral on the Oyster bracelet. The retail price on this one is £7,100 for the same combination with the Jubilee bracelet is £7,300. So unless it is one of the top four dials, the beautiful Azuro blue, the dark blue, the mint or the Wimbledon dial, it is a million percent pass. We will still pay you a few hundred pounds over for the top four dials and we retail that watch for just under £9,000. But unless it is the top four is a million percent pass. The same goes for the fluted bezel model. The fluted bezel date just 41. I've got another one to show you here. In fact, I've got two to show you here. So I've got the Azuro blue again. This is the fluted bezel on the Jubilee bracelet and also the beautiful mint green. I hope you can see that there. Again, fluted bezel Jubilee bracelet. For you guys that don't know, the fluted bezel actually made out of 18 karat white gold, hence the premium. The list price on this one here on the Jubilee bracelet is £9,200. For the top four dials that I have just mentioned, we would still give you a profit on there. Depending on the dial combination, the Mint and Wimbledon being the top two, we will pay over £10,000 for that particular watch and we will sell it between 12 and 12,950. So unless it is one of the top four on the fluted bezel model, this is not the Oyster bracelet, the Jubilee, it is a million percent pass. So for all you guys watching, this is the under 20K category. We'll have another video coming out soon for all the watches that are over the 20K threshold. Let's stay in the day just 41 range. We've got the steel and gold models in the yellow gold and also the rose gold. The list price on those are between 12,450 and 12,750 pounds. There is a premium for the diamond ones, i.e. the chocolate. This particular model, is worth a lot less than retail. What do I mean by that? We would only offer for this watch with the white, the black, even the Wimbledon dial, which is surprising to say in this particular range, 10,000 pounds for a brand new unworn 2024. And we would actually retail it for less than list price. We've had a few in recently. We've been successful in buying them and selling them under list price. For you guys out there wanting that watch, go straight to the grey market. If you're being offered it from your ID and we get calls every day of the week, it is a million percent pass. So for you guys that thought we had forgot, we certainly haven't. And the next range I'd like to talk about is the Explorer range. You've got five different variations in this range from the 36 to the 42 millimeters. Let's start with the 36. When it first came out, it carried a decent premium. Rolex retail price of 6,300 pounds. This particular watch here is not one we would actually look to stock at LWC in the current market. Unfortunately, the appetite is just not there for that. I have the other one in that range, which is the 40 millimeters. I've got one to show you here. We used to sell these for fun. We would pay over list for this particular watch and sell it, which is 6650, I'm gonna say. And we would actually sell it for around eight to eight five. We've had this watch in for quite some weeks now. We keep reducing it in price. We actually paid list price for you guys, just to give you an idea. I think it's a beautiful watch. Actually, I think it's really classic looking. I think it's really clean. And for those guys wanting a bit more of an understated watch, this is definitely a good watch. But this is the type of where the market is. And for you guys wanting this watch or looking to take it from your AD, it is certainly a massive pass. The other two in this range are the Explorer 2. They come in the two dial combination. So we've got the black and the polar white. I do prefer the polar white and so do you guys. The retail price on that is £8,500 for both dial combinations. The black dial, we're actually offering £7,500 for a brand new unworn 2024. We'd actually sell it for about four to five hundred pounds over list price, so just under 9k. The other one, the Polar White, that obviously carries a premium like the Steel Daytona range, we would actually retail that for just under £10,000 and we would only offer you guys £8,000. So if you're getting that watch from your ID, it is a definite pass. 
The other one in the range is obviously the steel and yellow gold. I've actually never seen anybody wearing this watch. We've never actually been requested for this watch. The Rolex retail price is a huge whopping £10,350. It has always been worth less than the list. You go online now, you're going to see that watch advertised by a retailer, including their selling fees, i.e. Chrono 24, for between seven and eight thousand pounds. Unless you want to take a bath with that watch and lose a lot of money when you take it. Do not buy that watch from your AD, go straight to the grey market. Let's talk about the Oyster Perpetual range, the OP41 in particular. Unless it is the green dial in the current line, obviously the Celebration is a different model. It is a million percent pass and the reason for that is you've got the entry level dials of the black, the blue and also the silver dial. Still very nice watches. But if you're looking at buying that watch, selling it on for a profit, the money just isn't there. To give you an idea, the Rolex retail price is £5,550. We've had quite a few of the beautiful green one in at LWC. We will pay you £6,250 for that watch and we'd retail at around the 8K mark. Obviously, as deals, we need our margin. So unless it is the green dial, or certainly the celebration, different category, do not buy that watch from your AD. You will not get rich and you will not be able to flip it for a profit. So the next range I'd like to talk about is the GMT Master range, and it'll be no surprise to you, it is the steel and gold category. We have two in this particular category. We've got the new reference, the new release from Rolex last year, the GRNR, the beautiful two-tone yellow gold Jubilee bracelet. I absolutely love that watch. The retail on that price is 14.6. We retail that watch for under 16,000 pounds, and we offer 13,000. 500 to 137 on that particular one to give you an idea and we retail for just over list price the root beer is the other one in this particular category the steel and rose gold the sweet spot for this range you guys absolutely love this watch our best selling watch our best selling gmt of 2023 in this particular category at lwc and for me i can see why you guys love this watch the retail price on this one is fourteen thousand three hundred pounds again we retail this watch for around sixteen thousand pounds so if you look at both these particular ones here they're around ten percent over the current rolex retail price and you can see why this is not a buy if you're looking at buying this watch for a profit it is certainly a pass, but if you actually want to buy this watch and do not do the dance, then go straight to the grey market. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is the iconic Submariner range. No surprise, the trends are continuing. It is the steel and gold range, the steel and yellow gold in the Submariner. I have a couple to show you here. I have the black reference and the blue reference. The retail price on this is £13,700. This is a great example of where the market is on the black one. This has been under list for some time now. It is still a beautiful watch, but it is under list. We have bought this particular one for way under list and we are retailing this watch for around 12 and a half thousand pounds so that is eight to ten percent less than the rolex retail price this is one that if you get offered from your id and we do get a lot of calls from you guys do not buy this watch from your id you can go online find a credible deal and you can buy it way under retail price and the blue one, which is certainly the the most popular and the sweet spot for this range this is one here we've got this advertised at fourteen thousand seven hundred pounds which is literally just a thousand pounds over the rolex retail price we've actually just sold it half an hour ago gone in the back office and it's just been sold so if you're watching it's on its way to you this is the sweet spot what a watch that is but if you're being offered pure id and we get calls every day of the week i would fill my cabinets full of blueses that's how popular they are but if you're looking at selling this, you're going to lose £700. I'll pay £13,000 for a brand new unworn 2024 and I'd retail it for £14,700. So if you're getting offered this watch and you don't like it and you want to buy it for a profit or get your spend up, it is a million percent pass. Again, the trend continues. Steel and gold range, but this category is the Daytonas. And it pains me to say... The Rolex Daytona, which is the pinnacle, I think, for the Rolex lineup, is now a pass on some dials, and I'll go through some of those now. Let's start with the steel and gold, the new 126 reference. If it is a champagne dial, 
even though it is a beautiful watch, we would offer you less than list price. The new Rolex retail price on this is £17,300. So we would actually offer you around the 16 to 16.5 on that. And we would actually retail it for just a touch around 18K. The black dial, this is in the danger zone. This has now become or was a list watch for us to buy. We would offer 17.3. I'm now offering 16.5 to 16.750 on that watch. And I would retail around the 18.5 to 18.750. And the one that you you guys all love and should be buying and the most popular in this range is the white dial. We would pay over list for this one. We would pay £500 over and we would retail it under 20k. The other one, which you won't see that many of in the wild in this particular category, is the diamond dial. I've got one to show you here. This is a watch, let me tell you. This is absolutely stunning, stunning watch. So the retail price on this one is 19,300. To give you an idea, we paid over list to buy this. We're advertising on our website at 22,950. You will not see many of these for sale online anywhere in the world. They're extremely hard to get. If you're looking for something different from the normal lineup, this is a special watch. And a special watch that you could buy on the grey market for just over 20k. It's the new 126 reference. It's an absolutely stunning watch. And if you're getting offered, you should definitely buy. So the next range I'd like to talk about is the Skydweller range, the big 42 millimeter watch. Again, the trends are continuing. It is the steel and gold range. The retail price from Rolex is 17,050 to 17,600 pounds, depending on the bracelet, that being the Oyster and the premium for the Jubilee we will not actually even stock this watch. We get offered this watch from you guys out there and I genuinely, genuinely like this watch, especially the black dial. I think that is the sweet spot. The white dial has always been a under list watch and that is literally one that we have never stocked for the last few years. The champagne we've had a few in, we've stopped stocking that for the last probably six or eight months and the black dial, we've always kept going with that. But again, we are not stocking that watch. If we get phone call from somebody looking to sell that watch, we actually don't even make an offer. To give you guys an idea, what I think that watch is worth. I generally think the watch is worth around 14 grand for us to buy and around 15 to 15 five for us to sell. But trying to buy at that price from some of you guys who have bought it from your ID for you know nearly 18,000 pounds, are you gonna lose three or 4,000 pounds? No, I don't blame you. So if you get offered that watch, do not buy it. It is a pass. So staying in the Sky Dweller range, believe it or not, there's another two that are a pass in this category in the steel range. Very hard for me to say as a dealer. I always thought they would always carry a premium and it is the black dial and the white dial. So the Rolex retail price is 13.6 to 13.850 depending on the bracelet, the Oyster being the 13.6 and the Jubilee being the 13.850. The white dial, which is the entry level dial and also the black dial is now a under list watch. And for us out there, we've had quite a few black dials in recently. I really, really like that watch, but they take forever to sell. So as us as active dealers in the industry, we want a watch that we can get in and sell within a reasonable amount of time. So if you're going for the white dial or the black dial, it's a pass, but the other two on this category are the blue dial and the mint dial. And these two are a million percent buy and they're our best sellers in this range, specifically the blue dial. That is the sweet spot for this range. To give you guys an idea, we would pay around 17 to 17.5 for the blue and we would pay around 19 for the mint. This is both on the Jubilee and we would sell for just under 20K. We actually had two in last week. This is good information for you guys. Had no calls on them for the last few weeks or little, little interest. We sold them both on the same day and I could have sold the blue one three times. This is how weird our industry is. The blue one was sold for 19K and the mint green was sold for 21 and a half. So that gives you an idea of the margin there, but the green dial is extremely hard to get. You will actually see that many online. So if you, you do get offered and you have a good spend issue and you're lucky enough to get offered the blue or the mint on the Oyster or the Jubilee, you should be buying 
that watch. So the other range I'd like to talk about is the Yachtmaster Forte range. They come in two dial combinations in the steel variety and it's the dark blue with the red hand and also the rhodium with the baby blue hand, the sweet spot for this particular range. If you're getting off of the blue one, we would pay you £9,000. We would retail it for around £11,000. And if you're getting off of the rhodium dial, we would only pay list or just a touch under list and would retail it for around £12,000. So if you're looking to buy Flip for a profit, unfortunately, this model has now gone. If you're looking to buy it, and not do the AD dance, then you can certainly go to the grey and pick one up at just a touch over list price, between sort of 4% to 10% over list. And the other one in this category, and I'm sure it's no surprise to you guys, is the steel and gold range. It is the steel and rose gold. They come in two dial combinations. You have the black dial and the chocolate dial. Again, the chocolate dial is the sweet spot for this particular range. It has that premium on the gray market, even though the retail price, which I can't believe I'm gonna actually say, is 14,050 pounds. For me, that is extremely high for this watch, which is why it's in the category of a pass. If you offered me this watch, we actually had one in last week, we've not had one for some time, and we actually bought it from the list and we actually sold it from the list. So what does that tell you about this particular watch? It has become a unisex watch just due to the fact of they do look and wear smaller than a 40 millimeter. And especially when you've got some gold there, it's like the beautiful Rolex Rose Gold, and it has that luster to it. It does appeal to ladies, and the fact that it can look an oversized and lady, but not too big, you can see why it's popular there. But that watch, if you're getting off it from your ID, black or chocolate, do not buy million percent pass. Hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.